hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins beginner tutorial this is the third session in this series and today we are going to learn how do we change the home directory of Jenkins so uh, what is the home directory of Jenkins is whenever we uh, deploy Jenkins on any system there is a folder where which is created by default and most of the times the name of the folder is dots Jenkins and the default location will be the user profile of that system and this folder or this directory contains all the information about the logs configuration jobs everything about Jenkins okay so let's say in we have seen in our last session how do we install and you know get started with Jenkins so if I go to my user profile okay I can see there is a folder called dot Jenkins and if I go inside this folder I can see everything related to Jenkins all the logs jobs and then the plugins everything right so uh, we have all the configuration plugins jobs and logs inside this home directory now the basic question why do we want to change this home directory this is working fine and we do not have any issues with this home directory then why should we even uh, bother to change it so the one of the most common reasons why people want to change this home directory to some other location is uh, mostly this is getting installed in the user profile and we want to move it to a place where we have enough disk space because there will be a lot of jobs being added to our Jenkins there will be a lot of plugins being added and other configurations and we want this home directory to be placed in such a location where we have sufficient space so we want to change it the other common reason is the requirement of the project okay so these are the two reasons why we change the directory okay so let's get started and let's see this process how what we have to do is step one is check your current home directory okay so how do you do that let us start our Jenkins and you have to go to your the location where you have downloaded and you have put your Jenkins folder so in my case it is desktop tools Jenkins so wherever your jenkins.war file is you have to go to that location whether you are on windows or on a mac and then you have to say java space hyphen jar jenkins.war so this will start our jenkins on the default port which is 8080 okay so let me go to my browser and let me go to localhost 8080 okay so now my Jenkins is up and running and what you have to do is you have to go to manage Jenkins and inside manage Jenkins the very first option option you be are getting is configure system I'm clicking here and you see the very first option it is showing me the home directory so you will see your current home directory here and now I want to change this okay so what we are going to do is uh, the very first thing that we have to do is so step two is create a new folder okay which will be new home directory okay so let's suppose I want uh, I want to have my new directory inside my tools folder and inside my tools folder I have Jenkins folder so wherever I have my Jenkins.war at the same location I want to have a new folder which which will be my new parent uh, home directory for Jenkins and I say this as Jenkins home okay so I have created this step 3 will be copy all data from old directory to new directory okay so my old directory was here now 
dot Jenkins I will go inside this copy everything okay I'll copy all this everything and now I will move to my new directory and I will paste everything here okay so this is get getting copied now after the after this copy is completed now you have to change environment variable and the environment variable Jenkins underscore home and set to new directory okay so in this case what you have to do is in case you are on windows on windows what you will do is uh, you will go to your system variables and you can go through your control panel or you can go to your my computer right click go to properties and here go to advanced system settings and here you can see your the system properties window has come up and here there are environment variables okay and here you will find Jenkins home in case you do not have it you can create it okay and if it is already there you can just go to edit and you have to give the variable name as Jenkins home and the value as the new directory wherever you have created it okay you can do it like this on Windows okay and uh, here you have to change environment variable and if you are on a Mac okay so I am on a Mac so what I have to do is I have to go to my terminal okay and I will say export Jenkins underscore home equal to whatever value of my the path of my new folder so it is at desktop tools Jenkins and Jenkins home okay so this is the new location and just I will say enter okay now uh, let me put it here this is what I have to do go to terminal and this is what I have to do on terminal right set the uh, path export the path it will start from export let me just paste it here okay this is what we have to do for Mac right now we have to step 5 is we have to restart Jenkins okay so uh, for restarting Jenkins one of the ways is uh, on your command prompt or terminal wherever you had started your Jenkins you can say control C okay and it will get closed and then you can again start Jenkins by java hyphen jar Jenkins dot war one of the other ways to start Jenkins is uh, you can go to your browser where your Jenkins is running localhost 8080 and here you say restart okay it will ask you are you sure about restarting Jenkins yes and it will restart Jenkins and you can see the logs will come up here okay it will close Jenkins and then it will start up again Okay, so now let me go and check if Jenkins is restarted actually it will come up by itself when Jenkins restarting is done so now Jenkins is fully up and running okay so now I have to check okay I go to manage Jenkins then I go to configure system and here see uh, the home directory is still showing me the old folder it, this has not changed here in windows most probably this will not happen because there you do not you have to change only the environment variables but if you are on a mac there is another thing that you will have to do to change this here and that is uh, you have to set the environment variables for a permanent uh, session now what happened is we set it up here okay we had done export Jenkins home here 
but this is only for a temporary session to do it permanently what you will need to do is uh, go to your finder okay and I am pressing command shift G and I am going to my users profile and in your, in your users profile you will find a file called dot bash profile which is a hidden file okay in case you are not seeing this file you can uh, enable hidden files on Mac and in my last session I have shown exactly how to do that so you can look at there how to view the hidden files and even after uh, enabling hidden files if you are not able to view this dot bash profile file you can actually create a dot bash underscore profile file and open this and here I have to do the same thing the export that I did here I will just add this statement to my dot bash profile and I will save it and I will exit from terminal and even here I will exit okay and I will start I will start a new terminal session I'll go to the location of my Jenkins.war and now I will start the Jenkins.war so now my Jenkins is getting started again and let me go to localhost 8080 is getting started yes now it is fully up and running and go I'm going to manage Jenkins again and I'm going to configure system and yes now you can see the home directory has changed successfully to the new directory okay now whatever jobs I add or plugins I add or whatever I do on Jenkins all the files logs folders everything will be stored in my new Jenkins directory okay there's one more thing you can do is you can go to system info localhost 8080 system info and you can get all the system properties here and you can see the environment variables as well here okay now you can see my Jenkins.home is set to my new directory okay and information about plugins and everything is here right so this is uh, how you can change the home directory and if you face any issues or problems whether in windows or mac in setting this up you can uh, send me a comment and i will help you out okay so this is how we can change the home directory for jenkins hope you like it thank you